I spend too much money online. I need mental help. These are some of the things that I have bought on Amazon in the last two months. Look at this. It's insane. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that big old red subscribe button down below and click that bell notification icon so you can see what I spend my money on. Don't judge me though, because I might cry. Okay, really, I won't. And I expect you to judge me. That's why I do this. So next month is going to be a no spend October, but it's going to be different. It's specific to me and a problem that I have. It's not going to be about the groceries. It's not going to be about any of that. It's going to be about Amazon. This one is specific to me and an issue that I have. I like to impulse shop when I'm stressed out. And so anytime I have some extra little cash in the budget and every once in a while when I don't, I will get online and I will impulse, impulse shop. Now, historically, I have accounted for this kind of um, shopping in our cushion or by putting in 150 bucks into Amazon, little things do come up and they're things I need. It's not like I'm, I'm buying things I don't need, but I don't necessarily have to have them right away. So in my August um, budget report, if you haven't seen it, I'll put an eye in the sky right up here. I discussed going crazy on Amazon and online shopping with the extra cash that we had in the budget. I mean, I went way overboard. So I was reading the comments a couple of days afterward. I don't always get to the comments immediately. I try and set aside an hour every a couple of times a week to review comments and, and read and answer them. And I love reading your comments. And Jen and David and Lady the Dog, I believe it was, actually made a comment and it just struck home. She said, what about a no Amazon month? I think you are less likely to shop if you have to drive to a store. Amazon makes it so easy to buy stuff we don't need. I could not agree with this more. It is so convenient to be able to put things in my cart and click and it takes two minutes for me to get stuff. For example, the other night, Melina's teacher requested that you know, we send in little items for her to use in her like reward boxes. So I just got on there and I ordered some pencils and pencil top erasers. You know, it was like 20 bucks, I think for the total. Did I need to spend that much money? No. Could I have gotten it cheaper if I had gone to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods or one of those places? Probably. But I didn't because it was so easy to buy it off of Amazon. And this is a consistent problem for me. So in the month of October, I'm going to do a no spend Amazon month. And this is going to be a hard month because it's Melina's birthday. Now I will tell you with the money that we had left over that I had budgeted for her party, I went ahead and bought most of her birthday gifts. So, and the goodie bag items for her. So hopefully I won't have to do that. I also have a birthday for my brother and my nephew, which will involve shopping for those ahead of time and actually having the gift ready or they're not going to get it until November. <laughs> So we're going to see how I do and I will report back to you at the end of October to see if I survived it, if I went ahead and was able to not spend on Amazon. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It, it could go well. It could go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. So stick around. Wait and see what the fallout's like. So if you have a specific financial problem, something that keeps coming up for you, why don't you join me in trying to tackle it in November? Sure, it's the month, wait, no spend October. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!